and as a whistleblower, Edward Snowden calls mobile phones the spy in our pockets. And why not? There are multiple reasons for calling it out. But wait, I'm a normal person. Does my privacy really matter? Does it hold some value? I'm not a very big personality behind whom many people would be. I'm a You were wrong. Now suppose you have study materials in any of your devices and imagine them reaching out to your parents or teachers in the form of your homework. Now guess what? So welcome back decent army and you have got the context still yet. But before starting this video let me tell you this video is based on my viewpoints and all the information available till yet. So let's start this video without wasting any further time. So guys now let's talk about one of the spyware that's very much popular among us nowadays known by the name Pegasus. So what is it actually and from where did it originate? An organization named NSO group from Israel has claimed that they have developed a sort of spyware that can keep a track over you and your private information via WhatsApp calls, video calls and many more ways as well. Some of the exploits from Pegasus are zero click exploits that they do not at all need any sort of interaction from the victim. It has also been reported that Pegasus can run arbitrary code, can extract your contacts, call logs, messages, photos and can access your camera using your webcam can hear your sound using a microphone and the main thing is that you do not need at all any sort of phishing smishing or wishing attack for that it was also the first time that a malicious exploit used jailbreak to gain unrestricted access to an iphone in 2019 the nso group was sued by whatsapp for performing a spy attack on 1400 users interacting via whatsapp and as of report coming now, recently an investigation was performed by Amnesty International Forbidden Stories jointly and it claims that the use of this spyware was performed on journalists, activists and the political oppositions as well. 300 out of 50,000 of which belong to India including big personalities like Rahul Gandhi, Prashant Kishore and others like them. Organization claims that they sell this spyware only to the governments but still in this case also it doesn't make it better because if it gets into the hands of bad actors, it would be a case of really serious trouble. Now the thing coming out here is not the only spyware which is available around us. There are millions of them spying over us knowingly or unknowingly. If you have watched my video over VPN, I clearly told you in that that how can a free VPN can contribute to the same process. If you have not watched that, I will provide you with the link in the i button, you will go and check it out. As reported, the spyware basically targets around all Android users and up to iOS 14.6 which is the latest release. So you can see that it covers a very large community which can be targeted. Now the question comes is, what should be our approach to protect ourselves from these sort of spywares? As we know that this spyware doesn't need any sort of human interaction to be triggered. So generally we can't do anything from our end. But we can take preventive measures like to fully update our software whatever version we are using up like Android or iOS and to make sure that we are using the current release. Since when this spyware has become popular on internet, companies like Google and Apple are striving hard to provide us with the patches so that this spyware can't affect because it doesn't only totally affect us but also their market. The motto of the Pegasus is to target terrorist antisocial elements and all. So there are less chances of you being targeted via that if you are not any one of them. So the other thing you can do is to use up the disappearing message feature which generally means that the messages get disappeared when one sees up the message. In the interview with the Guardian, Edward Snowden told that if we want to stop this spyware from spreading, we need to come together and we need to halt the trade of this technology. And if we say it on the behalf of the whole community, it there is nothing wrong in it because it really doesn't cease whether you are rich or poor, whether you are a big celebrity or not or if you are a normal person because most of us are on internet and can be targeted. Just providing up my viewpoints on Mr. Snowden's point, I would like to say that anything that is born on internet has its pros and cons. For finding out the real culprits, this software, this spyware basically is of great use but if it gets into the hands of bad actors or generally the hands of normal public on a large scale, it becomes violent. Also, instead of trying to make 
it ban or something like we should try to find a solution so that the innocent people they generally do not get affected with the use of the spyware which is a big tedious task to perform but we should try for it and to make sure that the privacy of them of the innocent people is maintained guys this was for this video so if you like this video then hit the like button share this video as much as possible amongst your friends family members and others subscribe to the channel if you really like tell me in the comment section about your viewpoints on the spyware and let's try to find a solution ourselves if you want to show your support to me you can i have provided you with the link in the description box you can go and check it out till then guys tata goodbye and let me see you in another video